Hey guys, Nika Bananas. So I promised I would make a video showing you my beautiful so big. It is really, really big actually. It's four feet long and it weighs eight pounds. And I know it looks a lot like my rifle because it is a Remington. But this is a Remington 870 Express Magnum and it's a 12 gauge and it is so sleek and it's so powerful and it's ugh I this I love this over the rifle and I mean I obviously put a scope on it but you don't need to if you're a really good shot I guess um and I know that some of you are like why do you need a, you why do you need a shotgun why do you need a rifle Nika like you don't even go hunting and it's like well no I don't go hunting because I'm vegan but if anyone ever comes inside to my beautiful house and I'm alone or I happen to be alone that day, then guess what? I can pull this from under my mattress or not under my mattress, but like under the bed and just, you know, because you never know. I like to keep this one under the bed because it's powerful and it will blow a nice hole in someone's head if need to. Now, I know that a lot of women are not into this type of stuff but I specified I was very clear in my last video why you should know how to properly shoot at the very minimum a handgun and I may be making a video on my handgun now my handgun I do have a permit so I do carry it everywhere I go I have beautiful Chanel purses stocked with beautiful handguns inside and maybe I will make videos with those now we're focusing on this one right now like I was saying the majority of women should learn, should know, should feel comfortable. And this goes for a lot of men as well because I've met a lot of, you know, very intelligent men and then they can't shoot a gun and that's such a turn off. Now I'm very pro gun. I love weapons. I think everybody should have one. Obviously be smart about it. And if you are thinking of getting a shotgun, get this one because I've had this one longer than I've had the rifle and I've shot this one a lot more times than I've shot the rifle and it's still really good I mean this is probably one of the shotguns that sells the most if not I believe the list that I saw online it said that it was like one of the top best sellers best selling shotgun within the last 50 years so that says something now this one's you know you can see how used it's been because we'll just go and shoot stuff and it's good to have a shotgun now I'm getting tired it is very heavy obviously this is it's something that the majority of people don't need a shotgun but if you're wanting to get one this is the one to get I always suggest people for personal protection especially as a female me especially as a tiny female very petite I like how convenient a handgun is and I love that I can throw it, you know, in my tiny purse and it's just, hey bitch, you know, and pull it out if you need to. Now, some people say, we don't need guns, Nika, you're, you're making the problem worse than it already is. And it's like, no, I would rather have a gun because there have been too many instances where people try to call the cops or people can't protect themselves physically and you're waiting on the police to come. And have you had one of these or a handgun or some sort of weapon to protect yourself, then you you would be more likely to have some control of the situation. Because as soon as, let's say, you know, those gas station videos that we've all seen, robberies and last minute, you know, somebody pulls out a gun on you. If you pull one of these out, they're going to be running, okay? The majority of people are very afraid of shotguns or weapons in general so if somebody's trying to scare you with you know saying they're going to rob you especially as a business owner have one of these i think it's great to have them use them wisely know what you're doing it's good to have handguns as well like i said hopefully i will be making a video for you guys soon with the handguns and let me know what you think because this is my very very favorite shotgun i have a collection of shotguns but this is by far my favorite. I probably am biased because I love Remington just overall. And this is actually pretty affordable. I think I paid 
about $400 for this shotgun. Now the scope um, was probably closer to $200, so very good shotgun for a very low price. I think $400 bucks for a Remington 12 gauger, and that's a really good deal. So if you guys are planning to get one of these, try the Remington. And there are some places that will let you shoot them. I know I have a friend, and he is a he's a firearms instructor. And if you're not comfortable with maybe shooting a shotgun or you've never shot one, don't go straight into Cabela's and purchase this because you may not like how powerful it is. I personally love the powerful just you know shot of a shotgun. But if you've never shot one before, you might want to get some instructions on how to do it first and be comfortable with how potent and how strong it is when this bad boy goes off because the very first time I shot a shotgun, it knocked me on my ass and it was, it was crazy and I've known people to shoot shotguns and they love them and for me when I shot it it knocked me on my ass but I loved it and that kind of got me hooked on shotguns but some people will shoot a shotgun and they don't love it they hate it they have the opposite experience of what I did and they never want to be around these again so if that's you and you've never shot one go to a firearms instructor so that you don't have to purchase one a lot of the times firearms instructors will just bring an array, a beautiful array of weapons. They'll bring handguns and shotguns and all kinds of babies that you can try out and kind of go by feel with what you like. And then if there's one that you just love and you need to have, then you can go buy it. But for a shotgun, try this one, guys. I hope you all have a wonderful day. I'm going to put it away now before I shoot someone. Not because I don't know how to shoot, but because I want to shoot them. So... Let me know what you guys think, and if you are owners of this, let me know how long you've had it and how long it's lasted, because to me, these can probably, I could probably pass these down to my great, great, great grandchildren if I had any, and I feel like they'd be really, really sturdy. So let me know down below your favorite shotguns, guys. Thanks.